Hi, and welcome to this webinar from University West. Here with me today, I have Will Job. I'm going to let him introduce himself a little bit more in a short while. But first, I would uh, like you to note that we have a chat. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask, and our colleagues behind the scenes will help you answer your questions. So, welcome. How are you? Uh, good. No further ado. Yeah. No further ado. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, uh, as Christina said, my name is William Job. Um, I am a PhD in uh, informatics. I did my PhD at Stockholm University from about six, seven years ago. Um, I've worked here at University West for about 20 years now, a long time. And originally I'm from the United States. Um, I'm actually involved in as this webinar is going to be about. Uh, we're going to talk about the different uh, master's programs we have here at University West. Uh, in English, uh, and uh, I'm actually the head of one of those programs, the one in IT and management. And so we're here to discuss and give you a little bit more information about the, uh, the master's programs, right? Yeah, yeah. perfect. Hmm? Uh, could you tell us a bit more about your uh, school of business, economics, and IT, where you're from? Yes. So I'm actually the, uh, the department boss uh, for informatics. Uh, we have I don't want to say wrong here, four different departments uh, at the School of Economics, Business, and IT. And you can tell by the name that it's uh, IT, Business, Economics. But we actually have a big mix of a bunch of different subjects. Uh, so the three major ones are economics, finance, uh, um, uh, business. And when I say business, it's different aspects of uh, business administration, which is accounting, uh, marketing, and organizational and leadership. And then we have informatics, which if you're not so familiar with exact what informatics is, it's a mixture of computer science and uh, social sciences, uh, how um, ICT affects businesses, organizations, how you implement them into different organizations and so forth. So you have the softer side of IT, also the, the harder side of IT with programming and uh, networks and so forth. Uh, in addition to that, we have uh, those, those subjects. We have a you call them secondary subjects. We have uh, political science, statistics, uh, law. Um, that's quite a lot. Yeah, I think that's about that's, it. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah, <laughs> and, and the thing is, if you see a university as a whole, uh, we have, um, uh, we do, we're not so focused. We're, we have the, different, the other institutions that are just nursing, just engineering, and so forth, and we're that You're wider. Mix, yeah, you know, much yeah, broader. Yeah, yeah, broader, yeah. 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 Uh, could you tell us a bit, why, why would you choose to study here? Uh, a couple of reasons. Um, uh, we're a younger, smaller university. Um, I think you'll have a much easier time contacting, reaching, uh, enjoying a more informal environment, of contacting, reaching the, the uh, lecturers. Uh, they'll answer e uh, email. Uh, sorry, the Swedish jumps out sometimes. <laughs> they'll answer email uh, quicker, I think. You know, uh, yeah. Their door will be open more often if you compare it to much larger the universities that have been around for hundreds of years and, and thousands and thousands of teachers. So, so I think our size is, is uh, absolutely an advantage. Yeah. And the student groups? Uh, small. Uh, uh, I can speak directly for IT and management. 20 students, uh, 22, something like that this year. Um, that's half quite them, unusual, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, half of them Swedish, half no. of them uh, international students, roughly. And so, you know, when you do group work and so forth, you're in groups of two or three. Uh, easy to, uh, things are graded quickly. Uh, when you work in groups with a teacher or with other students, they're in, they're in smaller groups. So you're not going to be in these lecture halls with two or 300 students, as you might experience in other universities. So that's the first point. Another reason to, to study here, as we have our focus area, work integrated learning. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's not my expert area, but it, it's, it's a profile for the entire university, and so we use it extensively even at our department, uh, at the School of Economics, Business and IT. It's a long name. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, the name implies that you integrate work and learn, uh, uh, learning at work, but what it aspects of it that we use extensively are um, when you study an uh, academic program, Typically, or not typically, but often the teachers preside uh, cases, you know, just yeah. fictive cases uh, of some type that you need to solve. It could be in economics or programming and so forth. But in our case, when we try to uh, really use work integrated learning, we use real cases. 
Yep. Could, you, yeah. could, could you say that that one of the core things when you, when you come to work integrated learning is the integration between the, the, the theoretical studies and the practical yeah, uh, that, part of it? That's probably the best uh, definition. I was getting into the details, but yes, we integrate uh, practice and theory, um, absolutely. Uh, and one of the ways to do that is we use real cases instead of fictive yeah. cases. But I think it's important. We also want, I'll give you an example. If we have students that do uh, a project at a company, a programming project, uh, um, we often ask them when they come back to the uh, education to present what they've learned. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it, it's a two-way street, right? Yeah. The work in real learning. You're also learning things as a student when you're at a workplace, but you're taking what you've learned from the workplace and bringing it back to the university. Yeah. And, so, and that's so the, the integration. Yeah. Uh, so you know. this is an overall profile. Yes, uh, yeah. uh, and it's part of what you do. Yeah, yeah, and it's 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 in our bachelor's programs, but even our master's programs. And uh, we had the four master's programs we have; it's used extensively. Ab and, and also research. And research. Yeah, and also oh, yes, and we have yeah. researchers yeah. that do this as well. And once yeah. again, and that's the reason why it's our profile yeah. uh, as well, yeah. because we research it, uh, we use it, and mm. we actually live it uh, yeah. more or less. Yeah. So could you tell us a bit more about the programs, your, our, 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 uh, our master programs? Yep, we have four of them. Three of them are one-year master's programs, uh, uh, which is common in Sweden. Uh, the first one is the, and there are no, uh, <laughs> they're not ranked in order here. The first one that I always think of is the one I'm in charge of, IT and management. Uh, the second is international business. Uh, uh, the third is in finance. And then the fourth is a two-years master's in uh, work integrated political studies. Uh, so that one has an extreme focus on work integrated learning and in that the entire last year is an internship that you can either do in Sweden or internationally uh, so, so that you're, you're basically doing a work placement or internship mm -hmm. as half of the uh, oh, of the, the master's, entire, oh, of the, the entire, entire, entire program. Master. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. And the other three that I, I started off with, the IT and management, if I talk about it more specifically, it deals with, uh, it's in informatics, uh, that's the subject area, and it has two focuses. One is to, uh, you do the master's, get a job, uh, of course. You're, you're improving your resume, improving your knowledge to, to get a better job, right? Uh, also, the, the secondary aspect of it is to continue to your PhD studies. So uh, the master's is built to have very theoretical academic courses for you to do PhD studies but also very practical work, work integrated learning courses mm -hmm. to, to be better at that, your intended occupation. Yeah. Uh, and then one thing that makes it special for the IT and management uh, track is that we have three specializations. I sometimes uh, sloppily call them majors, but they're not majors, okay. as that you can choose um, uh, the management track, which is it's uh, educating you to be uh, uh, an IT strategist to be a boss, lead projects, IT manage, all those type of yes. those type of general skills you need to to, to work with IT. Uh, the second is full stack developer. Then it focuses very much on programming, so mm -hmm. it's more of the technical side. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to, I'm not getting into the details, but uh, teach you the full stack from actual coding to the design, user experience, implementation, so that the entire uh, stack of tools needed to be a better programmer. That's the second track or specialization. And the third is uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, where you learn Unreal Engine. And, and we see that as one of the areas it's, it's going to grow very much mm -hmm. in the future. Yeah. And it's rather popular now. Uh, if I take this year's uh, students, uh, like I said, there are around 20, 22 students. It's roughly a third in each track. Oh, so it's, so it's, it's kind yeah. of spread. Yeah, the year before it was almost all in the management track. So it's okay, not, so it, 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 differs. it differs. It differs, but yeah. it's nice when it, it works out that uh, mm. evenly. So, mm. uh, If I go to the other two uh, one-year uh, masters, we have international business. Um, key focus area on that is that uh, to make you a uh, self-sufficient, independent uh, student. Yes. So you have self-studies as a large part of uh, that, and that they have a tight integration with um, the research that takes place yeah. in, in international business. Oh, yeah. that must be really interesting. It, it should be good. Uh, and then the third is in finance. Um, um, uh, they have 
Also tight integration with researchers. We have very, uh, I'm on a, I don't want to like to use the word renowned, but very internationally relevant uh, researchers. Uh, mm -hmm. Mahir, uh, mm -hmm. Professor Mahir uh, yeah. Asal, um, as an example. Uh, and they have, uh, what stands out for that, uh, the finance, is that it qualifies you to be a financial analyst on the international field. And they work tightly with SwedeSec and the CFA, I think it is, two financial organizations, so you, mm -hmm. you, know, you can be yeah. accredited in that yeah, way. Okay. So. Okay. And then the last one, so I don't forget, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Professor Parasma would be mad if I forgot about that one. <laughs> he wouldn't um, be is the, happy at all. <laughs> the work integrated political studies, that's the two years master's that we talked about, or I talked about. Uh, so the first year is studying courses, mm -hmm. uh, it's typical. At the university. At the university, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and it's a focus. I think the, the primary subjects you'll study are political science, but it's a mixture of uh, studies to prepare you to lead projects internationally mm -hmm. uh, and so forth. Yeah. And then the second half, as I said, is uh, your work placement, uh, where you can you do the entire 60 credits as work placement, and during that time you write your master's thesis and, and so forth. Okay, so the yeah. last... last the whole last year, you actually, credits, yes. you're actually not at campus. You could be. It you could, could be, be if you did it internationally. Yeah, you okay. could do it here in Sweden, and and you know it could be done at the municipality here in Trollhättan. Yeah. Yeah. So you would be at campus, yeah, I guess, and use our computers. Your and facilities. So forth. Yeah, our facilities. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But in theory, and uh, it could be in a uh, uh, another country internationally. And I know we have our bachelor's program has a very uh, tight integration with South Africa, uh, and so I, mm -hmm. I think the plans are that you know, you uh, ideally there could be some types of exchanges. Mm -hmm. We have a very tight integration with uh, the University of Bloemfontein uh, yeah. in uh, South Africa, mm -hmm. and they are very big in this area as well, work mm -hmm. integrated learning and so mm -hmm. forth. Yeah. yeah, it sounds perfect. <laughs> yes, I don't see why I, more I, people I, don't I apply. I get interested <laughs> myself actually. Could you tell us a bit more about the the international environment at the university? Yeah, um, one thing I forgot to mention, I think another strong point for our, for, our, um, uh, all, for our department as a whole or our institution, uh, but especially for our master's programs, are that we have uh, quite a few international lecturers, mm -hmm. uh, which you encounter That's both. Based, the, yeah, based here? Or? That are based here, that live here, yeah. yeah. Uh, myself, I'm from the US, uh, and I tried, I'm going to try to do a list I did quickly in my head mm -hmm. that they're involved in the programs, the, the US, Egypt, Syria, Vietnam, Russia, Ukraine, South Africa, and of course, Swedes, yeah. <laughs> so it's more or less only South America, we're not? Uh, no, we have a PhD students from Chile. You see? Ah, see, so there you go. The entire yeah. globe is here. Yeah, she's, uh, <laughs> so every, everyone uh, should find someone that they yeah, could. Yeah, I, I hadn't thought about it in that way. Yeah, every continent, it's, I don't know. Yeah, almost every continent, Almost every it? continent, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we could say it's like home away from home here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Even better. And, <laughs> Uh, and then we haven't even discussed the researchers. That's, that's very hard for me to define, but of course, being in a master's education, you're gonna be in close contact with uh, the PhD students yeah, maybe. Yeah. Many of the PhD students are involved in the teaching. I know yes. the ones I mentioned, we have a Vietnamese PhD student, or the, uh, the PhD student from Chile might be involved. Oh, I forgot, Iran also, we have two PhD students, so. another country. Um, but the researchers are also have, um, uh, they're from different uh, nationalities, uh, mm -hmm. Finland, uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's, Norwegians, it's, it's really uh, uh, close to home, yeah. but even yeah. Germany and so forth. Yeah. 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 So yes, but, I so, think. So if you speak English, you could say that you, you don't have a problem here at the university. Oh, definitely not. And then uh, those of you choosing to watch this, uh, if you're not familiar with Sweden, that everyone here below the age of 60 speaks fluent English yeah. Uh, yeah. without more, a doubt. More or less, more or less. More or less, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Everyone under the age of 30 definitely speaks uh, yeah. good English. And then if you're in an academic environment as you would be at the university, I've never encountered someone here that doesn't speak no. good English. So no. it's, it's not a problem, yeah, yeah. Uh, really not. And then given, as, as we've already talked about, there are so many, student, or so many people here, both employees and students, that um, don't have Swedish as their native language, no. myself included, yeah, it's, it's not a problem. Yeah. No. 
That's a good thing. It's a good thing. That's a good thing. And plus, another side, I know it's a big step when you're, you're choosing to study abroad. Um, one aspect is the language. Another aspect we talked about is the actual instruction, the course you're going to study. But the other is the culture. And, uh, and it's a good thing to know that many of the people that are here aren't from this culture. So yeah. typically, you encounter more open-minded people when people are from different cultures, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely, so, definitely. And then Swedes in general, if, if I try to be as objective as possible, uh, I think I can be a bit, even though I've lived here 20 years, uh, coming from the U.S. And as we all know, the U.S. is about the worst country right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't do too but, well, yeah, though, did you? Did you? <laughs> but we're looking forward to better times, right? Um, that it's a very open-minded country in general. So I, I think if you compared, you know, uh, I don't have any hard numbers for this, but uh, it's my opinion that if you compare, you know, crime, uh, racism. Yeah. All these yeah, type all of things. Kind of things. I think it's on the lower half. Lower, yeah, 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 it is. So yeah. I think yeah, it's, I, it's I could, a very I, safe I environment. Yeah, you know? it is. I usually say the thing. I wouldn't. The have, streets are generally safe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I let my kids. My youngest one's already out of high school, but my uh, the other two are 17 and 14. I have no problem with them walking around town. No, you know, it's no, it's no. yeah, it's a safe environment. Yeah. yeah. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. So we spoke about. Um, School of Business Economics and IT. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And we spoke about the master programs. Yep. We spoke about work integrated learning. And we spoke a bit about the culture here living in Sweden. Is there anything else you would like to add before we end this webinar? Um, I think we've touched on everything. Um, if I had to reiterate a few things, that uh, if you're really looking to uh, study an education where you get the knowledge that education offers, but you also want to have to, to have that little bit of extra that gives you a better chance to get a job, then I think we're a great choice yes. because of work integrated learning. I think that, that can be the big difference. And I can, uh, as an example, st our students, uh, especially bachelor students, we've had longer time with them, but even master students, when you do a work placement for a course or something, mm -hmm. And you get that contact with the company, and they can say, "Okay, Christina yeah. is she's pretty good. You know, she shows up on time. She does what she's supposed to. She's a quick learner. Yeah. It can give you that little edge. And because we have work integrated learning in every of our every one of our educations at the master's level, it's it's going to give you that little extra, uh, yeah. even if if it's, if it's economics or whatnot. So I think that's that's the biggest thing. But I, I would say, I would add to that also in the theoretical studies, the two ways you were talking yeah, about earlier exactly. th that you can bring in something to the classroom as well as a student. It's not only that you're taking something, you're, you're also, you can also add something to the Absolutely. theoretical. Absolutely. Uh, if I continue on that example, if Christina had been out and done a work placement uh, and learned something, you know, oh, they said that this programming environment is something you have to learn. You know, me as a student that hasn't been there, mm -hmm. I still get that information. Yes. Ah, okay. You know, or maybe, you know, that so company... It's not, 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 not only a two-way, it's a three-way. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a the, the, highway. I think the researchers <laughs> and, and working are going to learn that you say it's a win-win-win. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that all the three Part, uh, partners, partners in the thing. Yeah. The university wins, the, the student or, uh, and wins, the and the company wins. Yeah. 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 Uh, so that's the thing. And then, w once again, reiterating that um, we have a very international environment, it, despite our size. So I think you'll, you'll find yourself very welcome. Sweden as a country, as welcoming as it is, it's just, uh, and then um, our size, once again. Yeah. Smaller, if you're looking, if you come from a really large university, you want a more informal environment, mm -hmm. you can crack a joke with your teacher, yes. uh, they'll answer rather quickly and so forth, and I think it would be a good choice. Yeah, absolutely. Well, no? I think that covers it. Yeah. covers it doesn't it? Yes, I think so. So thank you, Will. Yeah. It's been really nice to having this conversation thank with you. Thank you for having me. And yeah. uh, thank you to all of you who's been watching. Yeah. And uh, have a great day. Yeah. Bye. And don't forget to ask questions in the chat. Absolutely. Please right. continue. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.